So, first things first, you want to get the F4 biped animation rig by this guy. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Um, and then you want to download the F4 biped cat rig thing. Download that manually. I already have it downloaded. Um, save it wherever. Unzip it. And then it shows up here. And inside of it, there's a bunch of bullshit that I have saved. Ah, should look something like that. This is a fresh, uh, fresh file. This is everything that comes in it. And you want this thing here. The F4 biped cat, and there's a. Uh, you'll load that in 3ds Max. Um, so once you have 3ds Max open, let's do a new one. Oh yeah, good idea uh, when you're starting a new pose. Hit the auto key. No explanation, just, just hit the auto key. <laughs> I make myself laugh a lot because I'm retarded. I'm sorry, special needs. There you go. I think that's a politically, politically correct term. Okay. Um, yeah, really. Yeah, just pooping. <laughs> that was disgusting. All right, highlight all that, hit that key button. That key button is your friend. That's what makes this glorious pose save. So once that's hit, have it content tools, export. I think there's another button over here. If you prefer using that, then by all means. Um, and then the cat rig should be preloaded with this file right here, f4animation.hko. If it's not, find it, load it, and then all this stuff will pop up. And you really don't have to do anything except uh, go down here to right to platform. Uh, click on the button with the three dots. And then name your file. I already had a poop file, so we'll just stick with that. Now, um, I save or I export my HKX files to wherever um, the cat rig is located. I've been told you don't have to do that, but every time that I try to save, that I try to export the file to somewhere else, it will not export. So, if you experience that problem, then just try exporting it to wherever you have the cat rig, and it should work just fine. Save, run configuration, does its little magic at the bottom, Make sure that it says that it wrote the file and ignore these warnings. That doesn't mean anything. You'll be able to tell that it didn't work if it says could not write file or something rather like that. But it worked. So close it. 
Nope. And that's it for making the uh, pose. That's the basically the easiest part. Okay, so now let's put the animation into the um, creation kit. Um, let's make our file path. So data, meshes, actors, and then all this should, well, not all of it, but most of it should be there already. Um, I lost my train of thought. Told you, I'm an idiot. All right. Uh, follow forward data, meshes, actors, character, animations. So if you don't have any of those other files beforehand, just make them. Um, so now on the animations, so you can drop them straight into here, or um, if you're planning on making a lot, just go ahead and make a new folder. Let's do temp. Lit. Is that how you spell template? I don't know. Uh, let's just say it is. All right. So then you got your little folder made. Go and find that fantastic pose or animation that you made. Poop. Copy it. Paste it, pop it, twist it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, ho, 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 Brain freeze, brain freeze, brain freeze. All right. So I magically had the creation kit loaded already um, because it takes forever and a day to load. All right. So we have our animation in the uh, <clears throat> in our folder. So now, once you have the CK up, go to gameplay animations. Um, I've never tested it. I think uh, for our purposes, you can add an idle to pretty much anywhere but again I've never tested it but um, the way it works it really I don't think it really matters where you put it but I like to put it with um, the greater root behavior uh, if I can find it right there boom and then go down to loose, loose animations. And then you can just pick one, just pick any one. So just right click. And then what you want to do, insert sibling. Don't hit duplicate, duplicate won't do anything very misleading so insert sibling right click on any animation insert sibling um, so now with the new addition there you name it this name right here that's the name that will be um, will be important later or if you just want to test out an animation that's the name you put for uh, in the console command window in game so it's going to be play idle poop and then here in this little drop down box uh, type in dy go down to dynamic activation loop And guess what that does? Loops it forever. All right. Oops. <clears throat> um, dynamic 
activation. Uh, it just plays the animation one time. It doesn't loop it. And then all these other things do other stuff. I've tested a few things, but um, still not too... I don't know what I'm doing, basically. That, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right. So then here, edit, and then find, go to your folder where you put your animation, find it, select it, open it. I always like to click off just to see that it's actually doing stuff. So there you go. And that's that alone, you just added a uh, an animation to the game. And say your plugin. Template. Let's call it pose template. And there's that. Now, the not so easy part, and everything's still easy, it's just a lot of steps. We gotta make all this shit for uh, the ring and gun items. So again, nothing's terribly difficult or complicated. Also, you know, I'm not a scripter, so when you look at my scripts, it's gonna be very embarrassing, and you'll probably laugh because it looks like a third I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't insult a third grader I'd say it looks like a first grader wrote these scripts but, you know that's uh, that's the best I could do and people like it so that's that makes me happy that's all I care about anyways so we'll get to this part next <laughs> 